There are a bunch of packs out there. Find one that fits your budget and that works for you. But I'll tell you a couple things that in general I like about my packs. One, I prefer some type of internal frame backpack. Now, if you are a diehard Alice type guy, you just need to have your Alice pack, good for you. Those definitely work. But understand that I think that there are a lot of things going for an internally framed pack. Now, beyond that, you also want a very generous kidney pad. The reason for that is a lot of people, the first time they backpack, believe that all the weight should be on their shoulders. That is not the case. You should be putting about a solid 80 to, I'd say 70 to 80% of that weight on your hips. It's gonna make your life a lot better. Now, what you can also do is as you have these packs on, you can shift the weight. So what I mean by that is, Mike, if you want to come in here a little closer. So right now, I have this guy cinched up on my hips. There is almost no weight on my shoulders right now. And that feels pretty good. As I'm hiking, invariably, my hips are going to become sore. I'm going to become tired. So what you can do at that point is you can loosen your kidney straps and then you can put more of that weight on your shoulders or you can do a good in-between. This is nice as it allows you to shift weight throughout the day. So if you're traveling 20, 30 miles, that's gonna be really nice to be able to shift that load and that burden and allow your shoulders to rest, allow your hips to rest. And depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill, for a lot of people, certain types of weight distributions are gonna feel better. 